remaining. Yo, so I'm guessing your Valorant runs like this. Therefore, you probably have a low-end PC or a laptop and that you want to increase your FPS as much as possible. So you've clicked onto the right video. So watch through the video to change this to this wow! so let's go ahead and start with the in-game settings on the general tab turn off mature content it will disable blood and corpses then go ahead and go to video on the general tab turn all limit fps off and the lower the resolution the more fps you'll get then on the graphics quality turn all of these off anti-aliasing to none anisotropic filtering to 1x so now we are going to optimize the application itself Go to your Windows local C drive, find Riot Games, click on Valorant, live on the Valorant application, click on it and right click, click on properties, go ahead and go to compatibility and check disable full screen optimizations and go ahead change high dpi settings override high dpi scaling behavior should be enabled select ok then hit apply ok then go ahead and go to shooter game binaries win64 scroll until you find valorant win64 shipping.exe go ahead and do the same Click on properties, compatibility, enable disable full screen optimizations, and enable override high DPI scaling behavior. Once you're done, click apply, OK, and we're done on to the second step. For the third step, go back to your local Windows C drive, find users, click on your username. Find app data. If you can't find app data, go to view and enable hidden items. Once you're done, go ahead and go to local. Find Valorant. Go to saved, config. So all of these are your accounts with uh, numbers and letters. We should do this step manually to each of these folders that contains letters and numbers. Let's start with C2 or something. Then go ahead, go to Windows, Game User Settings, right click, select Edit, scroll until you find scalability groups. On the resolution quality, set this to 60. V distance quality to 1. Anti aliasing to 0. Shadow quality to 0. Post process quality to 0. Effects quality to 0. Foliage quality to 0. Shading quality to 0. So we reduced 40% of the resolution in game so it makes or produces more fps when gaming 
I prefer 60 because this is a low-end laptop. If you have a mid-end PC, you should set this to 80. On a lower lower-end PC, set this to 50. But I prefer 70 to 60. Once you're done, click on File, Save, Exit, and then right-click, Select Properties, so enable read only select apply okay so that is the third step to at least increase your fps when gaming remember to do this manually all of these should be manually edited to all of your accounts to to have the same impact when gaming for the fourth step Search on game mode. And enable game mode so it optimizes your PC or laptop when playing Valorant. After you've done that, let's move on to the fifth step. So for the fifth step, if you have an integrated GPU, click on its control panel. In my case, it is in video. On NVIDIA control panel, find adjust image settings with preview. Enable use my preference emphasizing and set this to performance. Click on apply. After you're done, go to set is X configuration to your integrated GPU or auto select after you're done click on apply and exit if you don't have an integrated GPU go to your Intel graphics properties select 3D and on the general settings enable performance mode set multi-sample anti-aliasing to off and application optimal mode to enable after you're done, go back and go to power and set your graphics power plans to maximum performance. On battery, set this to maximum performance as well. And that is for the fifth step. And on to the sixth and final step. Go to your files. Select Find this PC, right click anywhere, click on properties, find advanced system settings. On the advanced tab, you should look for performance, click on settings, and click on adjust for best performance. Or in my case, I set it to custom and enable animate controls element inside windows. It is just for my personal preference on how I want my windows to look. So I want to have a thumbnail instead of an icon. Follow all of this if you want. After you're done, click on apply, select OK. Click on apply again, then OK. And I think that is it for the sixth and final step. So that should help increase your FPS when playing Valorant. So that is it. So once you have followed all of these steps, this should squeeze out more FPS when playing Valorant. So before I was averaging 30 to 40 FPS with OBS running in the background, 
which was irritating and was very unplayable. So now we are going to see how drastic the changes we made. So this is before and this is after. Take note this is recorded using a phone because if I record using OBS, it will eat out half of the FPS gained. So before, I was averaging 30 to 40 FPS. Now, it is an average of 80 to 90 FPS without OBS running in the background. So that is it for this video. I hope you gained FPS as I did. And if you want to show support or donate, just go in to my Patreon. It's down in the description below. Thank you and much appreciated. See you.